Hello, everyone. Welcome to our spiritual communion for this Monday, the 1st of June. Uh, it's now in the ninth week of ordinary time. We begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today, for our celebration of our spiritual communion, we have the feast of Mary, Mother of the Church. And so the gospel today is from the Gospel of John, chapter 19, verses 25 to 27. Near the cross of Jesus stood his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary of Magdala. Seeing his mother and the disciple he loved standing near her, Jesus said to his mother, Woman, this is your son. Then to the disciple he said, This is your mother. And from that moment, the disciple made a place for her in his home. The Gospel of the Lord. This celebration of Mary, mother of the church, falls perfectly in our gospel readings because if you call, recall back to last week, uh, the very last reading from John, we heard of the beloved disciple and I gave you a little insight into the fact that he appears four times in John's gospel, one of which is the one that we hear today where we find him at the foot of the cross of Jesus along with Mary and he places Mary, his mother, into the beloved disciples' care. In our everyday normal lives, we use honorifics in our English language. And an honorific is simply a form of address that indicates respect for the person we are addressing. And so, for example, we have master, Mr, Mrs, Ms, Miss. It might be Sir, Madam, Lord, Lady, for example. If you go to court, you'll hear words like Your Honour. In Parliament, it might be the Honourable or the Right Honourable. In various professions, we have titles or honorifics, such as Doctor, Professor. And even in the church, We've continued this tradition, and that's why we have father, brother, sister, and in the Pope's case, your holiness. So an honorific is a form of address that indicates respect to the people that we are talking to. And today we're celebrating the title of Mary, Mother of the Church. And now this title, this honorific, was given to Mary and first used in the 4th century by St. Ambrose of Milan. But it wasn't until actually the Second Vatican Council, actually on the 21st of November 1964, that Pope Paul VI gave Mary this title, Mary, Mother of the Church. And it was given to her at that time to give greater honour to Our Lady. Obviously, the fathers of the Vatican Council wanted to continue to honour Mary and respect her in every way, shape and form. And so Mary is celebrated then not only as the mother of Jesus, but also the mother of each and every one of us in the church. You see to my uh, left there the beautiful icon um, of Mary holding the church in her arms. So today we simply remember Mary and as we do, we honour her and respect her and her role and her life. So today we might conclude with two things. Firstly, we might... Pray to Our Lady. Hail Mary, full of grace, 
the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Also, given that uh, this is my last spiritual communion for a couple of weeks while I'm away, I'm going to set you some homework. While I'm away, see how many titles of Mary officially exist. So it gives you a bit of work to do because we honour her in many ways. And so just have a look, if you can, at how many titles we have attributed to Mary and she holds uh, in our hearts, uh, in, in our church. So see how you go. Might even be a prize for how many, everyone, if anyone gets it, how many, the biggest, the lot, the most correct, whatever it might be. So we'll see how it happens when I get back. All right. Thanks very much, everyone, for joining for our spiritual communion today. I look forward to seeing you when I return. Uh, in the meantime, look after Tony and Anne and Father Peter for me, who are going to be doing the spiritual communions in my absence. And I look forward to seeing you when I get back. Take care and God bless.